It is Justin, your Eagle Skipper here with episode one of Journey to the Top. We're going to hit start game. Just wanted to quickly show you everybody all of the settings are the same from the first preview video. Now go ahead and hit start. And we'll let this get going. And once again, my computer has successfully refrained from melting and we're using the same profile. Look, we've got all of our same attributes from yesterday. Now we're gonna go in and find Darlington National League North. There we go. And before I hit next, I just realized after making yesterday's video that I forgot to explain what my main goals are for this series. And so what I'd like to do by the end of this series is to one, win the Champions League, of course, but then also I would like to find an international job and win the World Cup. Let's go ahead and continue making our coach and hitting start. And Darlington have confirmed the appointment of Eagle Skipper as their new coach. As you can see, really young and I'm going to face a lot of questions apparently. Yep, still 800 pounds a week, so we are going to keep that nice little house with the rainbow. Hit next. All right. Their stadium has a 3,000 person capacity. That's kind of small. Hardly any training facilities to speak of, but they've at least got a long history. <laughs> There's no general manager, so yeah, we'll be fixing that. And they've got this assistant coach here. <sighs> Let's hit next. Oh, thank you for welcoming me. All right, so they want a 4 2 3 1. With, I think this was our top player. Yeah. Decent, decent. What's our, what's our goalie like? Okay. He's young. That's, that's, that's nice. No loans. We're going to, we're going to be seeking to exploit that a little bit. What do they want us to do? Work within the payroll budget. That's going to be a struggle with me. You, you'll see. Okay. So we only have a one year contract. So we'll want to secure something for, next year eventually and okay they want us to reach the playoffs reach the first round that means you got to get through a couple rounds mm, that's going to be fun and then just do something in the trophy and five-year plan they want to be a banner of a national team that's reasonable for a club of their stature but it's not very ambitious we'll have to see if we're here for the long term and yes we can do all of that and we're into the game. Let's uh, let's look through our inbox and see if there's anything that we can do. So, yep, they, they did indeed hire me. All right, so we have... Everybody's basically on a one-year contract. We'll, we'll just hit delay for everybody. That's fine. We will... We'll go into tactics in a minute. Yeah, I'm just going to accept because they're not going to negotiate on on any of that. Okay, so preseason prep, training schedule. Yeah, I'm not very good at training, so we'll we'll leave our our assistant manager to do that. Okay, so yep, yeah, that's fine. And they're thinking that our old man. Oh, look at that! I didn't realize that he played sometimes for the U21. That's that's pretty nice. We'll go into our squad, and we've got this Eagle Skipper squad view. I'm going to be putting that on the uh, Steam Workshop, so you can use this along if you, along with me if you'd like. Um, it's got all the stuff that I like to see. Um, let's see here. Let's let's sort by position. We've got two very young goalkeepers. That's with very limited ability, but some decent potential. We'll see if we can do anything with that. Um, well, it looks like we have a right back here. He was also really good, so that means Nikki Hunt, you're probably going to be playing in as a center back. We've got Story here that, that I looked at before. He looks like he's going to be a decent enough prospect. Yeah, okay, we've got a we've got Luke Chap Charman here, who 
decent finishing. Pretty good physicals for this level, but no determination. I don't like that. We'll have to see if we can find someone like that. Oh, look, we got another American, Omar Holness. Oh, wow. Capped for Jamaica. 16 determination. I think you, sir, are going to be seeing plenty of playtime here, even though your star rating isn't super good. Let's see, what else can we look at? Let's look at our club info. Semi-professional team, or the Quakers, forgot to mention that before. Got some decent rivalries. Media prediction is 8th. I think I think we should be able to beat that, but let's let's go ahead and take a look at the North and see what the season preview holds. See that? I, I don't understand why that doesn't say 8th or the other one doesn't say 5th. But it doesn't look like we have anyone in the Dream 11. Charmin, our, our striker that we identified as our highest level, highest rated fellow on here. And then Adam Campbell, who's another striker, also a left winger. That's, that's pretty... Okay, I like, I like his looks a little bit better. I think he'll be fine. We've got a U18 squad, which got a couple, couple little folks on here. Let's, let's take a look at it. Three people. Not a lot of potential, but... What can you expect? And let's go ahead and take a look at our staff first up. So I'm going to want a general manager. So let's go ahead and look at our staff search. And we've got this nice ultimate staff search screen that I'm also going to be putting up on the Steam Workshop here before too long. And we'll just open up our, our staff. We'll look at recruitment team, general manager. Okay. And... These are all realistic appointments. So we've got George Cowie, who's wanted by absolutely everybody, probably because he's the best of the bunch. But Barry Beck here, got some decent stats for this level. I like his determination, and he's he's balanced, which isn't too bad. Um, yeah, I think I think Barry, we're gonna be approaching to sign you. Okay, I've I've already done this. Let's just skip through everything. Finish. All right. Yeah, we want you as our general manager. We'll give you a two-year contract if we lower it a bit. Will you take that? No, you want it a little bit higher. I'll negotiate. Oh, oh, you'll take that. Fantastic, Barry. Hop in the bus pretty quickly here because we need some news. We need some uh, need some help. Got nobody out searching for people. On that note, placing out some adverts to bring some people in, because we have nobody out looking for people. So we're going to be hiring a, a chief scout and a couple of regular scouts, and we need a head of physio. Actually, let's look at our one physio. How, how good are you? You're seven. We'll let you apply to be the head physio. And then head performance analyst. Just... Get all the people in here. All right, we'll just clear this out. All right, and let's take a look at our team report. Our depth chart. Let's... Oh, not potential ability, current ability. So we've got a couple great people who can play out on either wing. That's good. Some good people down the middle. Decent depth all throughout. But uh, I do think the... the 4-2-3-1 that they were recommending is going to be a good option for us. We could also do a 4-4-2, so I'm going to go ahead and set up two little tactics for us, and I'll come back once I've done that. So I went ahead and created a couple tactics here that we're going to be starting out this season with controlling 4-2-3-1. I think that'd be good against some of the smaller teams that we can, we can do that against, and then some of the bigger teams in the league will have a... Uh, 442 but really we're going to be and if we make this as our primary tactic we'll actually try to swap that over i don't remember how we do that anyways this is going to be our primary tactic that we're going to try for the rest of the year because it it really uh highlights the the attacking depth that we've got we'll be running through preseason here shortly just to double check make sure it's good and I think this first episode we're just going to be be getting through preseason we'll have next episode be the first two games of the season which in this save is going to be our second qualifying round of the FA Cup and then against filed because apparently there's a little bit of change in between who we play 
So we'll have that come up in the next episode. Here we're going to introduce ourselves to the squad. Eh, kind of a mixed, I'll just say, give, and, give a positive. Oh, they they like that. Well, go up and hope as a team we can achieve great things under your leadership. Oh, that's nice. Um, I'm not going to be doing any promises. I'm going to talk about our season expectations. Oh, they wanted some promises. That's not good. I think we can make the playoffs. Ow. Pump my fist. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. We're also going to be reach the FA. They think that's achievable. Uh, that's exactly what I was wanting. Finalized code of conduct. A couple of them didn't like it. That's a great response. All right. Thanks, guys. What is this summary? This is new this year. Oh, wow. Look at that. Bumped up their morale. Morale is so crucial. Got to have that locker room atmosphere good. I'll leave the meeting in. Let's just take a little introduction to the dynamics this year. No team cohesion. We're really going to need to focus on that this off season. Does anybody support me? Oh. So, one of our best attackers opposes us. That's that's a great way to start the season. Another thing I forgot to mention is that Sunderland is our affiliate. They're a couple leagues ahead of us, and so I'm just going to be looking through their 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 players to see if there's anybody who is on loan on loan listed. We got Dan Neal here. Could he? I don't think we need another midfielder. Unfortunate. Not just gonna find anybody. We'll let our, our scouts do some things, we'll bring a couple people on trial, and we're gonna meet the media for the first time. So let's get this press conference out of the way. Look at that. Two whole people. Awesome. How do you feel set here as New Darlington? Very proud to see what we can do. What attract you to Darlington? I'm trying to improve as a head coach, and they're trying to improve as a club. Any reservations? Should be asking the board if they had reservations about me. I'm happy to be chosen as a head coach. That's that's probably the best way to, to answer that. I don't think age is appointment is important at all. No. Don't have any reputation. They've got me and I'm I'll have to get used to it. I'm here to stay. <laughs> what do I think? Um how do I agree with what do you think? Um They'll have to show me day in and day out. If I've met the players, they're ready to embrace me, yeah. Hopefully we can all work for success long term. Uh, this will be a marathon, not a sprint. What approach will we take to training? I'll have to wait and see on that, because I don't really know. How important is it to keep important players? He's tremendous. Will he keep his heart and have made a decision beside about the captain tree? Um, I'm gonna need some competition for goalkeeper. Yeah, hands-on approach. Um, I may occasionally get involved, but I'm gonna trust other people to do it for me. <laughs> Different competitions. Yes, absolutely. I want to focus on the league. Let's end this press conference. It was just fine. Didn't really affect anybody. So let's try to skip forward and actually do this match. And the teams are warming up, so let's get in here for our first match. First team against second team. I'm going to be managing the first team, letting them get some match fitness, because there's not really a second team. There's not that many other people outside of it, so okay, yeah. Does that, okay, that skips it. Fantastic. So let's pump our fists, saying they need to impress me. Didn't phase any of them. All right, let's... Let's have them all show me why they should be in the team. That nobody... There was some people who took to that, but they didn't. So let's, uh... Let's go ahead and skip this. Let's pause it real quick and make sure that we're on key highlights. These are the settings I like to use. That's fantastic. And shove that down there, and then... No, I don't want to see their formation. I want to see my formation. Actually, I want to see my formation over here. And the visualizer over here. Match stats, latest scores. That's fine. I'll maybe change latest scores later on. But let's get this match going. Yeah, they're looking kind of decent. Oh, 
I don't know which team this one is. Okay, I don't... Okay, which team are we? We are in the dark kits, all right. In there. <laughs> they snuffed that out real quick. Let's see, can our defenders hunt and story? Yeah, they do. They get it out wide to McMahon. McMahon, over the top, finds Chapman. He is a target man. Reed, ooh, nice little back heel back to Hatfield. Wheatley, lumps it over the top, finds Chapman. Oh, sorry, not Chapman, Charman. Charman, sorry, man. He couldn't find it anyway. Past the second choice keeper. Get corner. In, oh, I forgot to set up corner instructions, so they're just going to be doing the, the little bad setup. They're on the attack. Hunt sniffs that out. He's our key man. Saltmar pumps it. Oh, Charman's in behind. He's our slow target man. And he puts it into, what was that, the third row of empty seats. Got a def decent XG right now. Uh, we're gonna ignore that for now. He's gonna sit. Up. He's gonna. You're gonna have everybody in until halftime at least. We're on the attack again with a throw in. Once Reed just bounces into Liang, Hunt is able to come down with it, but decides to just fall asleep with the defender right on his back. Wheatley pumps it forward, finds Charman. Oh, can't find Charman. Beetle comes back with it. Hatfield out wide is Sousa. Oh, let's see if Charman can actually make one of these chances, because if he can't, we're going to be not going with him at front. But he's he's getting some decent decent chances. Um, maybe need to work on finishing. Definitely need to work on finishing if we're going to be successful this season. And they've got an attack. Let's see how we, we handle the defense. Charman, you know that you got to be a little bit more proactive there if you're going to make it on my team and like our hard working attacking players and whew, that was that would have been a demoralizer all right we'll go into dressing room outstretch arm uh, pump fist no point finger come on show me what you can do let's start the second half and not getting too many highlights. I'm going to get some fresh legs on in the 65th minute. That's about the time that I like to make some changes. Yeah, we can go ahead and do that. Who's starting to tire? That's one of the things. I don't really like this bar. It doesn't give it a good number. None of them have match sharpness. All of them are grayed out players. <laughs> and they're all defenders. All right, and our defenders are the ones playing well. Well, on that note, I guess we're not going to be making any changes. So let's hit cancel and just let them play on. Let's give a little shout shout. Entire team. Uh, ooh, let them have their corner. Get that out. Holmes. <laughs> uh just demand more. Come on, fellas. You gotta do more than that. Entirely do not deserve the goal they just got. But then again, we don't entirely deserve any goals ourselves. Campbell is playing particularly poorly. If I had anybody to come on for him, I would. That is the end of the thing. I'm gonna point my finger. Lucky this was only friendly. That's That's the truth, isn't it? So let's hit continue. Got a couple people injured. That's not good. Well, I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna get some scouts in, and hopefully we can find some loan players. Get a general manager in to give us some targets. And and Beck did finally accept our general manager position. I'm gonna let you come in. Hit continue once. Have you recommend some folks? look on the scouting screen you haven't done that yet of course because we have to hit continue for that to happen but until then let, let's answer a little question i like these i like these short ones he's hired does it change my job at all we're excited he's very good that's good enough for your editor that's fine let's hit continue see if you have any suggestions we did bring somebody on trial who 
who asks to come, and he, he's not going to do anything, but he's just going to be another body in training. He has this as our recommendation for a left back. Yeah, I'm going to have to disagree. He's got some good determination, and we don't have very many good left backs, but we're just not going to deal with that right now. Another thing I need to look at is our payroll. We're currently spending 9000 We've got a, just under 1000 per week left in that payroll budget. I'm going to do the best I can to stay within that. It's going to be a bit of a struggle. I like to have a bloated team. I know that. It's not a good thing. Nikki Hunt, why aren't you doing good in training? Um, I want to get a little shouty-shouty at you. But you're doing good. you got good work rate and teamwork and all that stuff. Good job, fella. Let's see, any more scout reports? Nope, no more scout reports. I'll come back when there's something interesting to report. Here's another new thing, is a recruitment meeting. Let's go ahead and attend this meeting. Um, talk about our transfer window. Great, let's hear their suggestions. They identified basically everywhere. So let's get, let's get started. Adam Campbell's in the last year of his contract. That's right. Everyone's. Let's see the reports. Robbie Dale. We'll bring him on trial. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, let's let's take a look at him. He's fine. We'll, we'll acknowledge as the target. All right. Let's move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see the reports. This really doesn't make a whole lot of difference other than bring some folks on trial at the beginning. You're at Larn. Decent. Decent. I'm just going to acknowledge him right now. Let's keep moving on. More folks. Yeah, we've already we've already seen him. Paul Gilbert. Who wants him? Um, I want him. I want him. 16-year-old <laughs> left back. Um, let's see if we can remove that promise. He's going to be an important player. Let's negotiate. Let's try giving him a two-year deal. Um, 300 pounds a week. He would accept that. Fantastic. Let's hope he actually accepts it. I'll offer you a trial. Acknowledge you, acknowledge you. Moving on, other targets they want us to look at. Wes Fletcher, I've heard that name before. Don't know where though. We'll offer you a trial. We'll offer everyone who does not had a club a trial. Just to get some people in training. And let's skip forward until there's something else to report. I've just decided I'm going to show you this one last friendly. Well, this will be the end of the episode after this one, and then I'll skip forward through the end of the preseason, and that will be the start of our next episode. So let's go ahead and, and get this team submitted. I just let them pick anybody because it's preseason, so we need to get everybody some sharpness. Let's get into the match. Team sheets. Maybe I don't have very many substitutes, so hopefully we can get some fresh legs on. Um, yeah, let's let's win this. I know it's preseason, but show me why you should be in our team. Because after last match, nobody showed me they should be in the team. I think I'm just bad at this, but they got it. Look at that. One, one two people in the stands. <laughs> Turn down my volume. That's a little bit better. for you guys so that hopefully you can hear me and we've got our here we are on the green we've got we've got the ball right from kickoff into McGuire McGuire who are you I don't know who you are but he did a whole lot better than Charmin did in that last game let's turn you down yeah entirely don't deserve a goal but we got it and they're on the attack. Okay, well, can you do something? I know you don't like me, but buddy, you gotta get involved. I wanna like you, but look at this. 
Maguire just in over the top. And, okay, Robertson got that. I thought he was about to <laughs> hit the corner flag when he was supposed to take a shot. Oh. 15 minutes in, we still have that one goal, and they haven't a single shot on target. We've got Jolly here, up to Sousa. Back to Wheatley. Wheatley, excuse me. McGuire wisely brings it down and wins a penalty. You know what, McGuire? I don't know who you are, but you're going to take our penalty. He steps up. Runs up to the... <laughs> puts it between the keeper's hands. Not a great penalty, but a goal is a goal. Not going to complain about that. My goodness. They're getting a lot of... They're getting a lot of highlights here. And it, it is on key highlights, right? Maybe a long one. Ooh. <laughs> just Campbell just got completely shown up. I'm starting to think he may not be the good player that we're that our coaches think he is. Jolly snuffs that one out. Oh, is he gonna take that criticism? Is he gonna take it? Is he gonna kick it out of bounds? My dog gonna stop chewing my chair. Oh McGuire in over the top once again and he was offside but that was a clinical finish. McGuire you you may earn yourself a start by the end of this preseason if Charman can't step up. Out wide for Campbell, trying to put it in. Puts it in once Robertson, but unfortunately Robertson is on the other team. He's completely offside, but <laughs> there we go. That's his fourth time that he's put the ball into the back of the net. Only two of them count, though. He really wants that hat trick. Their keeper puts it over the top story. Come on, man. Trial by fire. Joe Wheatley's going to be taking a penalty, apparently. Is that a little bit early, or is that just a leftover? Maybe a little bug. It's all right. They'll probably get it patched out. McGuire. It's, I'm just going to ignore because he's not going to be taking any penalty because that was not a penalty. Headley throws it in. Can't find Francis. And we're working it around the edge of the area. Ooh, Campbell with a shot from range, but couldn't quite get it on target. They have had their first shot, but weren't able to do anything with it. Meanwhile, we've got the ball once again. Headley's charging down the right side of the field. Puts it in across for Holness. Holness tries a shot from range, and that just skimmed over the bar. Nice little shot there, nice little try, but uh, next time, give a little through ball into Campbell, and that'd be nice. But at the end of the first half, have an XG of 1.2 to their .07. That's fantastic. 2-0 to Darlington. Let's check out our dressing room. They're looking complacent. Let's um, point our finger, keep going. And that made them more complacent. That's exactly what we don't want. I'm going to give them 10 minutes. Here at the 55th minute, we'll go ahead and give it a pause and bring on our reserves. Try to get some match fitness in. Headley wants Reed. Reed scores. Sean Reed. Is he our... Is he, is he our, our American? I don't know, but on the back of that goal, Sean Reed. Is he our... No, he's an English guy. Let's bring on some... Fresh legs. Theo Hudson, you can come in for Sousa, Charman. We're gonna we're gonna give you give you a chance. You gotta you gotta do something with that chance, buddy. Atkinson, we'll bring you on over there. Holmes, Campbell's having a decent game, but Rivers is gonna come on for him. 
and Nikki, you're complacent, but we'll bring you on for story. He's not doing very well by my own standards, and that's all we can do for right now. But eventually we can push Atkinson up into midfield, but we'll just confirm that for right now. Give him ten more minutes. May take Wheatley off. He's looking a little tired, even though he's having a good game. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do exactly that. Wheatley off for Cone, McCone, switch you for Atkinson, confirm changes, don't know what just happened, it blew a whistle, doesn't actually mean anything, and Vaughn kicks it up for Murphy, oh, and they're on the attack, I shouldn't have said their name, Saltmer is able to collect that up after the pristine tackle by Nicky Hunt. You know, I, I, I talked bad about him in our pre preview episode, but he's really showing that he is top class for this this team. We're able to have a little counter attack. Hudson just came on into absolutely nobody. Holmes has got it. His back is to the goal. Atkinson wants it over the top for Charman. Okay. All right, Charman. Keep it up. Come on. Come on, buddies. Let's get through this. Let's try to get this this episode ended off on a high note. 4-0 is the what it stands at right now. But they are not going to let that stand. They absolutely chipped the keeper. He, he went down, thought it was going to be a low and away shot. And Downis just said, nope. I'm just going to stick it in the top right corner. That's the second shot of the game. My gosh, I'm right. I think my uh, my team selection is going to have to go through a little bit of a work. We'll do that off camera, of course. Come on, guys. you got to know what to do with the ball when it's in the area. i got to get shoddy shoddy. Come on, focus. Let's just do, let's just try that because they're being very complacent. That's the real issue. Are they still complacent? I can't tell because nothing on here tells me they just have a frowny face. Don't have frowny faces. Have smiley faces. Atkinson wants it over the top for somebody, but there's nobody there. Charmin onside. Oh, Ward. Nope, Ward is their player. Our player on that side is Holmes. Nope, it's Rivers. I should know my team by now. McCone finds Hudson. <laughs> this offside off his own goal. Off his own shot. That's That just doesn't make sense. I'm sorry. Four minutes of extra time. Looks like we'll get one more highlight to end off, the, end off this 4-2 victory. Maybe. <laughs> Is there going to be a late goal to make me eat my own words? Probably. No, I don't do any tactics here at the end of the game to make them kill the game off. Just keep doing what you're doing. Do a little bit more. <laughs> we'll be on the hunt for victory before too long. <laughs> he breaks that one down kick the back to their player. This is just a long pointless highlight that's going to end with the ref blowing a whistle, isn't it? Don't know why you needed to show all of this for an end of the game whistle. But Rivers is going to try to prove me wrong. And get... No, he, he didn't. There, we just, he, they just showed us the last four minutes of the game for no reason. But as it stands, that was a decent win. Both of our strikers came on and did good. Much better than the last game. Had an XG of 2.69, overperformed that by another two goals. Um, had three disallowed goals this game. If we, even if we're not clinical, if we just put the ball in the net, that's what it takes to win. I'm an outstretched arms, very pleased, inspired, and confident players. That's what I want to see. And we have a whole bunch of people on trial from that. But anyways, folks, that's going to be where I leave off this episode, and I'll show you the first two games of the season here tomorrow. I'm going to try to put this up as the same day as the preview episode. 
But thank you all for watching, and I'm going to encourage you to hit that subscribe button if you want to follow me on this journey. And we'll see you in the next episode.